Some games are better played with a controller than using a keyboard and mouse. For example, I would always prefer to use either a PS5 or Xbox controller when playing NBA 2K23 over a keyboard and mouse every time because I can sit back, relax, control movement, and chain skills better. If you want to use a PS5 controller on your PC but don't know how, this video is for you. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. If you want to play PC games using your PS5 DualSense controller, there are a couple of options that you can choose from. Let's take a look at each of these methods. Method 1. Connect your PS5 controller to your PC by wire. The official recommendation of PlayStation is to connect your PS5 DualSense controller to your PC using the USB cable that comes with the box. So, what you need to do is to plug the USB-C cable tip on the controller USB-C port and the other tip to your computer's USB port. This way of connecting the devices can be favorable for some players, especially if they're looking forward to using the PS5 controller haptic feedback feature or adaptive trigger. Method 2. Connect your PS5 controller to your Windows PC via Bluetooth. A wired connection is hardly ideal and also uncomfortable. If you want to take advantage of the PS5 DualSense controller's wireless functionality, you have to use Bluetooth. This assumes that your Windows PC has Bluetooth though. If you're playing on a desktop that does not have native Bluetooth support, you should consider getting a Bluetooth adapter first. Just go to on Bluetooth settings. Wait for the system to start scanning for devices. While the computer is searching for Bluetooth devices, press the PlayStation button and share button on your DualSense controller for 10 minutes 15 seconds. Wait until the blue lights in the middle starts to flash faster than usual. Your PS5 controller should appear as a wireless controller. Select it to connect your PS5 DualSense controller. Steam, being the biggest repository of digital games on the planet, understandably wants to ensure that its games work with as few issues as possible with the PS5 controller. Since Windows OS does not natively support the PS5 controller, Steam is the better alternative when it comes to using the PS5 controller on Windows PC. Open the Steam app. Open the controller tab on the side menu bar. Click General Controller Settings. Make sure that PlayStation Configuration Support box is checked. If the PlayStation Configuration Support option is not checked, your PS5 controller won't be able to let you pull up the controller configuration screen while you're in a Steam game. Start the game you want to play and hit the PlayStation button on your controller. This will take you to the page where you can set any button or stick to do anything. The good thing about making sure that you configure your PS5 controller for Steam is that you can use the Steam settings to play even non-Steam games. For example, if you want Play Fall Guys, which is now only available on Epic Games Store, you can add the game on your Steam library and launch it from there so your controller will use the Steam settings for it. Here's how. Open the Steam app. Select Games from the top. Select Add a non-Steam game to my library. And search for the game that you want to add through the Steam overlay. The last option we will discuss here is popular among many gamers. This option involves installing a program called DS4 Windows. This community design software is meant to allow third-party controllers such as the PS4 and PS5 controllers work seamlessly on Windows PC. Here's what you need to do. Download and install DS4 Windows. Make sure to allow the program to install the required drivers. These drivers are important so your Windows PC will recognize your PS5 controller as an Xbox controller. Afterwards, connect your PS5 controller to your PC using a cable or via Bluetooth. Configure your controller as needed and test your controller to see if it's working now. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.